consistent and always been a quality player. Uh, and you have Ron J. Buenafe, na hindi masyado pinag-uusapan, but he can put up big numbers on certain nights. Well, you know, Danny Siegel, best player not to, not to have ever won an MVP in the PBA. And uh, you look at what he does para dito sa team na to. Nakakararap siya ng niche na. Lalo-lalo na ngayon na yung import naglalaro sa labas and nagkakaroon siya ng space dun sa loob. Ron J., on the other hand, he's a guy that is that spark that can just give them the basket, the points that are necessary, both helping out their import who had more than 40 points. Look at Danny S., 18 and 5. Ito naman si Ron J., 18 and 3. Big points coming from the local crew of Paraco Ball. Ikaw ba nagugulat with uh, Danny S na, you know, all, all through these years, uh, it's already 2013, and he's still putting up, uh, you know, putting up relevant numbers uh, for uh, for Barako. Alam mo, maganda kayo, Danny S. Ang tagal nagpahinga nung gitna nung karil, eh. Hindi naman niya ginusto yun, eh. The thing with Danny S is that he may not have the leaping ability that he used to have, he may not have the quickness that he used to have, but he's still 6'7", with some sort of agility. Still very hard to guard for most players. The Atom Bomb is uh, coaching uh, Hinebra uh, in this tournament. I think the manager, uh, Al Francis uh, Chua, is actually back already. He's actually right beside uh, Tato Agustin. Interesting. I mean, interesting mga yari dito. Si Asinga na nudut. Oh, may papakita na ako. In the meantime, uh, Chris Ellis uh, starts the ball game with that uh, with that layup. Chris Ellis also a beneficiary that uh, Inebra plays much faster now, shooting over close to sixty percent in the conference. Meantime, here's Mike Singletary shooting over Japet. Let's go over the primary protagonists on the floor for Hinebe. They are in immaculate white. Mark the Spark Tagiwa, L.A. Tenorio, Chris Ellis, Dior Lohorn, and Jabet Aguilar for uh, Barako Bull. We have J.C. Intan, Mike Singletary, Nick Benisi, Ron J. Buenafe, and uh, my favorite uh, minion of all time, <laughs> Eamon Montfort, as L.A. Oh, blocked by Mick. Talk about all the other guys. We talked, we talked about Danny Siegel and many, many of the, the Baraco veterans. But Mick Penisi has been putting up very solid numbers this conference, averaging double digit rebounds. Here's Japet, actually uh, matched up against uh, Singletary. Here's Kagiwa. Kagiwa on the move, handoff, low horn, and he connects. Has to be um, in terms of athletic ability hindi siya yung isa doon sa mga pinakamataas na athletic ability doon sa group ng imports natin but that's where he's gonna attack you down in the paint using his size he has to be the widest among all the imports siya yung, siya yung nag-iisa mo akong football player <laughs> American football <laughs> pero alam mo kahit yung ganyan yung katawan niya but you, the import of Alaska I think is the strongest import in the lot sa lakas ng katawan ha he scored what 28 points yung rebound put back lang <laughs> That's true, yeah. Si Makinis, oh, uh, impressive considering that he's not really athletic. Pero al In the meantime, here's Lohorn and back to back hits for uh, Lohorn in the opening quarter. And he's showing us that he, he too has that, you know, he can use his body to new size, yeah. Two minutes having gone by in the opening quarter. Montfort over the single parry. Single parry baseline outside. Buenafe, that's the specialty of the house. This is good ball movement on the part of Barako Bull. Started out with a nice pick and roll and then the number of defense depends uh, Mike, uh, Mike single parry. Kita natin winning to pass the basketball. They go back to Lohorn. And he misses that time, and that will be last touch on Chris Ellis. One thing uh, with uh, Lohorn is that doesn't really look to pass when he gets the basketball. Only one assist per game. So in two games, he's, had, he's just had two assists total. As one for misses, he can make an argument as he never runs here. Uh, well, traditionally, I would say, what, 80% of imports? Uh, not really out there to pass the ball. <laughs> because I think, you know, top of mind with being guys like Kenny Redfield, uh, 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 imports who actually enjoy 
distributing the ball as we check out our Photon Strong Drive. Brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. And to be fair, he's going to be one of those guys that may have may spend more time with his back to the basket so he doesn't really see what's going on at the offensive end. Most of our imports, if not all, lahat sila, mag magalas sila, nakaharap doon sa basket niya because of the size that they have. Some problems in the backcourt for Paraco and uh, here's Rod J for three. Rebound for Lohorn. I have to admit though, he, he doesn't look like a guy named Dior. Lucky. <laughs> uh, as Ellis uncorks, the rebound goes to Pinis. Pag nakita mo yung pangalan, may isip mo, ah, designer to. Signature. As uh, Mark Aguiwa snatches the ball away, goes uh, with the behind the back dribble, goes between the legs. He attacks, floater is good. <laughs> The ability of Mark Kagiwa to make and create baskets, hindi talaga nawawala. The dribbling ability and the burst of quickness to get that shot up. Three-point game for Hinebra as Mike Singletary makes a one-point game after scoring his first uh, two points tonight. I should expect a high-scoring game. Uh, Barako Bull, one of the teams that actually put up a lot of points on the board. <laughs> He's still upset. <laughs> well, he made the mistake of actually jumping. I'm telling referee na nasiko daw siya sa dibdib. Meantime, here's... <laughs> Single Terry hangs in the air and scores. Uh, and and uh, LA is actually pointing to Mick Penisi. DR Lohorn could not help because he nahawagan. Look at the bottom of the screen. He nahawagan ni Mick Penisi si Lohorn. Hindi siya makahelp eh. Para para na lang. <laughs> We're all tied at 10 apiece with seven and a half to go in the opening period. By the way, earlier, uh, Meralco winning over Talk and Tex, 92-86. A bit surprising because uh, Talk and Tex already had the Gilas boys back except for uh, Jimmy Alapak. Yeah, to, but to be fair to Talk and Tex, uh, those three guys that came back, uh, they also haven't practiced with that group of players. Na nandyan rin para sa Talk and Tex. And Meralco, they've been close a number of times. and. Uh, I, I suppose you, you, you give the uh, Tokitex Gilas boys maybe a couple of games. Yes. Uh, and more practices with their uh, team. Yes. Approaching the halfway mark of the opening quarter and single carry one, one against Japit. Up defense by Lohorn. And referee Edward Aquino sees a foul. You look at the imports that we have, you can't even, even point to one particular guy that is far and above better than the rest. There's so many guys that are averaging over 30 points a game, have scored 40, and are walking highlights as well. Earlier, Mario West scored 47. Tony Mitchell can score 47 <laughs> on a hot night. He probably could. Kanina nakita natin kay Tony Mitchell, most of, uh, did not take as much shots as he was taking in the first two games of Talk and As LA spins, and the foul is against Eman Bonford. First personal against Eman, and that is the second team foul against Barako Bull. And to shoot for Hinebra, LA operating from the left side, he fires the three. Here's Buenafe. That's a turnover. Did hit the uh, leg of Ryan Buenafe. Meantime, here's Lohorn. And Lohorn goes baseline. Having a good first quarter, Dior Lohorn already with eight points. Reminiscent of his first game and during his first game, Dami nagino ano first quarter, pero pagkatapos nun, ang laki naman ng drop off niya pagkatapos. Lohorn has eight of Hinebra's 12 points in the opening quarter. 
Here's Ronjay Buenafe. Ronjay spins. Shot and a rebound for Lohorn. I did tell you that he's always looking to shoot pag ginawa ka na yung bola. Naniniwala ka na. Sabi ko na, post player. As uh, JC Hila. Uh, uh, used to play for Ginebra. The next. And uh, Baraco with the lead here, 13-12. You know, JC is actually uh, having a fairly decent uh, conference. Uh, quietly being one of the contributors for his squad. Always nice to see JC healthy. Yun ang pion ng sakotase. As Kagiwa. Misses and Japet misses the putback. Oh, two misses from Japet. Meantime, here's Monfort. Morocco up by one. And JC goes back to Eman. Monfort for three. Yes, sir. And Eman Monfort gives uh, Morocco a four point advantage, 16 to 12, back in a moment. are still watching PBA on IBC. Dalawang energy teams sa makatapat ngayong gabi. Morocco Bull Energy and Barangay Ginebra San Miguel. Parehong galing sa panalo at parehong inaasahan ang kanilang depensa para makaisa ulit. Para sa Barako, malaki pa rin ang inaasahan kay Michael Singletary, kay Danny Siegel, kay Ron J. Benefe, at syempre kay Eman Monfort to deliver and execute their plays on both ends. At para naman sa Ginebra, alalay lang daw sa kanilang turnovers and maximize their second chance points para masiguro ang panalo. Balik sa inyo dyan, guys. You know, there's something different with uh, Erika tonight. TV. The pure vibes. The new vibes. Oh, I'm not used to it, actually. I guess we're big. I think I think we're early in the tournament, pa. Eh. Ano ano? Is it the? Ano the day ba kayo? Iba. Hindi kasi inaarang natin mga pwedeng ano yung mga sa world team. Oh, in palang we're doing our assignment. Now, meantime, the man on the line is Spark the Spark Kagiwa. He's wearing that compression shirt and uh, I guess, you know, more and more players uh, you know, getting getting into the compression system. In may sleeve, <laughs> may, may yung sa legs, may, ngayon, ano na, t-shirt na. Kapagkita ko yung ano. Eh, di ba, Thursday? Hindi ako, meron na ako yung mga frame frame sa ba, yung picture. Oh. Eh, di ba dati, meron na ako yung cut-offs? Sabi ko yun pala yun, ano? Sige mo na ito kung bisa search. Oh, yung kinupit na t-shirt na puti. Meantime, here's Monfort. Maganda ni sana kung nakuha ni Japet. Tapos siya challenge ni Monfort. Yun. Sa fast break. Sasabayan. Sasabayan ni Eman. Bakit di makita ni Japet na sumabay si Eman? Here's Ellis. 16-14. Barako. Barako Bull on top by two. As we approach the last four minutes of the opening period, Japet, ooh, that pass was invented for Lohor. Ends up with LA. This offensive going nowhere for Hinebra. And LA finds away, and Japet is fouled. We're hoping it's not hurt. Oh, Japet is still down. Oh. And he's pointing to his knee, his right knee. You see, this is a very good setup on the part of LA tonight. And Japet goes hard. It's how he landed. Yeah, because, because of the contact in the air and parang paatras siya nakuha. Yeah. You can see. Yeah, Singletary got him on the forearm. Tapos yung pang-landing yan, mag-isa na lang si Japet when he landed. Tama ba? Yeah. yeah. You know, you have, you, you, you have all your weight going one direction and your foot going the other way. A big hat for Japet who sprung off the floor and that's always a good sign na hindi ka inaakay uh, pat, pa, pat, uh, patayo. There's a very concerned look from uh, Francis Chua. Tutulungan muna si Chapit to get back on the bench. Head coach uh, Ato Augustin uh, uh, talking with Chapit, uh, checking on his condition. Uh, 
Uh, he has to shoot the free throws. Kasi may two free throws siya eh. Ayun, ibabalik ngayon siya sa free throw line. Yeah, it's actually Mark Kagiwa. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Mark. Uh, yeah. Mark Kagiwa will, will escort him to the free throw line. You can see Singletary uh, apologize, apologizing. Yeah. That, you know, he went for the ball. <laughs> okay, let's see how Japet uh, fares here. Uh, remember, he's uh, it's the thing that sting. Uh, sa kanyang right knee. I don't think he can bend it. So he has to shoot this Arwin Santos style. <laughs> don't bend the knees. Oh, not bending now. Okay, paano to? Oh, they'll they'll foul. give up a foul. They're not giving up a foul. Give up a foul Japan anywhere. can't run. No, you can give up a foul anywhere. You don't have to foul the guy with a basketball. That's the mistake of Barangay Hinebra. Foul anybody. Now they'll call a timeout. Para si Japet, eh, I, 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 I think he dadalit na sa dugout. That's why Kirby is there. Kirby will bring him to the dugout. It's a strange play. Pero importante dito, si Japet can now uh, go to the dugout para lalong maasikaso yung kanyang uh, right knee. Always a good sign. You see a player yeah. walking on his own after a, a hard fall. Let's go, guys. So, a great development for Coach Ato Agustin. Oh, change, it changes the changes yeah. the team all of a sudden. Alam mo, pagpasok nga ni Japet, yung sinasabi natin, all of a sudden, this team is one athletic. of the most athletic. Oh. Sinabi mo na si Ellis, lalagay mo pa si Japet, then Ellis is gonna help them run along with Mark Aguila. Now, not only do they become less athletic, they also become shorter. Under four minutes remaining in the opening quarter, and they give the ball to Lohorn against Dorian Peña. Oh, it's a push. And the next foul will send the Hinebra player to the free throw line. Here's Tenorio. Wilson uh, in the ball game here joining uh, Barakael, Lohorn, Tenorio, and Kagiwa. For Barako Bull, Montfort, Singletary, Peña, Intal, and Mark Makapagal. Back pass by Montfort, Singletary on the left side against Wilson. Shot clock down to 12, Barako Bull up by 3. And here's Montfort from the corner. Rebound Dorian Peña, new shot clock for Barako Bull. Montfort attacks, the runner is good. You know, doesn't really take a lot of two-point shots. He takes two-thirds of his shots from the three-point range. But right there, because you have to respect that three-point shot which he's making so far, able to get down in the middle, wala nang pantay doon. Now it's a five-point advantage for Barack Bull. And Lohorn fires from the outside. <laughs> Second miss from the perimeter. And a foul in the backcourt. I think it's against uh, it's against Willie Wilson that's his first they have a timeout with 2 and 36 remaining uh, 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 believers out of doubters like Jason here why <laughs> me? a nice thing about Evan Montfort is there were a lot of talk when he entered uh, and he was already playing for Barako during the preseason but it did not allow that, that, that did not uh, uh, stop him from continuing on with yung kanyang kumpiyansa because he was, he was during the preseason he was already doing fairly well and then he broke his hand yes. tapos hindi nawala siya normally pag ganun eh rookie ka matiderail yung uh, ano mo eh yung excited mo for your, uh, your first tournament sure. and, he, and he was a he was a rookie na na did draft that w didn't have any certainty kung makakapirma siya o hindi right but he was able to impress so much during the preseason that they were willing to wait it out with a broken hand meantime uh, JJ Helterbrand uh, goes in and for Barack Obol uh, Eman Monfort sits down for Celino Cruz
is Mahapagal. Seven point lead for Barakabo with under two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Josh Urbistondo is now part of the ball game here for Hinemba. Lowhorn back to Urbistondo. Shot clock down to nine. Elterbrand. Elterbrand pulling up, and that's good. So playing that off guard position, uh, JJ, that, that's the thing that he can do, you know, he'll just. Um, uh, flare to the sides and be able to get that uh, three-point shot for himself or long two rather Enya outside Keith Jensen with a miss Jensen again still no go and there's single Tari taking care of business and giving Barako is uh, what is this a seven point <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Barako Bull, you know, they put, they put up 24 points here and, and quietly have built a 7 point lead. Willie Wilson connects. So 30 seconds remaining before the end of the opening quarter. Mark Mahapagal in motion. Here's Singletary, shot clock winding down. Jensen. Good job on the part of Dorian. Lots of rebounds by the leaders of Barakabo at the end of this first quarter. Five seconds to go before the end of the opening quarter. And Mark Barakayel fires, connects with a three. Is that a three-pointer or a two-pointer? I guess it's just a two-point shot. But they're checking. Okay, they're checking right now. Our referees are checking the monitor. And it's a three-point shot. So at the end of the first quarter, Barajo Bull is ahead. 26-22. Oh, the bad news here for uh, Hinebra, Japet Aguilar got hurt. As you're seeing highlights from Barako Bull, and we'll give you an update on the condition of Japet. That's when he got when he heard his knee. We'll give you an update on Japet when we return. You guys are still watching PBA on IBC. Sinundan ko kanina si Japet after that bad fall. At sabi niya, the left side of his right knee is hurting really bad. At naramdaman daw niya na medyo may kumalas daw. He was assessed by Dr. Kalma and the team PT. So far naman daw intact. But the possibility of MCL was mentioned. And now, they're on the way to the hospital para magpa-MRI. Balik sa inyo guys. You know, uh, we, we, we don't like it when we hear yeah. about your injuries to you know, uh, the, any player. More so, a member pa ng national team natin yan. So, you know, we, we, we sit down, syempre, you know, in, in, in the immediate future, iniisip ni Chapet yung Hinebra in this tournament. But syempre, iniisip din natin, ano, epekto? We are going to Spain next year. Yes, oh, and, uh, yeah, we. we. Yeah, we are going. Nag-apply na ako. Ano ka na? Hindi sa kaya. But you know what? It, 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 you have to feel bad for, for players that get injured after ha coming off such a high in terms of confidence. You know that Japan is playing with a lot of confidence right, right now oh. for his new team. And then, pag nasaktan ka, parang ang hirap lang as a player na bawiin ulit yung kumpiyansa mo. Dahil magsistart ka na naman sa zero eh. And you know, Japet really magically found his confidence in the biggest tournament of his life. So as, uh, as Erica mentioned, if you missed her report, uh, Japet now on his way to the hospital uh, to uh, get an MRI, uh, to get a better uh, better assessment of his knee. And unfortunately, yun nga, nabanggit yung possibility na MCL. Yeah, and the thing is, what the players know, when you feel something, sabi nga, may naramdaman siyang kumalas. That's the thing, when you feel something like that, it's always a bad sign. But of course, the you know, good thing though para kay Javier, we did see him walking, but walking gingerly. Eh, nakapag-free throw pa nga. Uh, we're, we're all hoping for the best. It doesn't matter if you're a Nebra fan or not. He's part of the national team. In the meantime, Billy Mamarin connects on the twirling move. And he has four points off the bench. And that will cut down Barako Bull's lead to three. He's going to uh, experience a little bit more minutes speaking of Billy Mamarin without Japet. 
Dorian Pena. Dorian Pena connects. You know, Dorian Pena has actually given a good account of himself ever since Pumasok siya. He's got two points. You know, those are his first two points, but three offensive rebounds to his name. You know, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because I follow a lot of these Barako Bull players on Instagram, I think the guys like Danny Siegel and Dorian, Dorian Pena, the incentives are there. If they get a lot of rebounds, uh, I believe the team manager takes them to breakfast. That's how it's practice. That's a pretty good incentive. Hey, Dorian, para okay yan ah. Oh, my son, boss. Yeah, ito sila. Mick, Dorian, DS. Basta maganda rebounding numbers nila. I think they they get extra pancakes na tayo sa next intense practice. Dalawa, tatlong itlog, hindi na dalawa. Yung ano nila, top silog nila. We are in the early moments of the second quarter. And the Nebra still trailing here as Billy Mamaril. Six points para kay Billy Mamaril. All here in the second. Actually, the six points of Ginebra all coming from Billy Mamaril. Three minutes having gone by here in the second period, and that's a foul uh, against Mac Barakayan. First personal against Barakayan, and that's the first team foul against Tinebra here in the second period. Going over the uh, gentleman on the hard court for uh, Barako Bull, Danny Siegel, Ron J. Buenafe. Uh, Siegel to next to who is likewise there with uh, Mick Benisi and Keith Jensen. This is Barack Obama's side. They seem to be getting more comfortable to the sets that they run. But but not the traps. They are automatic in the offense. They have a very good idea. To nasa yung mga kapit nila. Is it another way of saying that they're getting more comfortable with the Toroman system? Yes, and you know because you can see that they're always starting out. You know, there's pick and rolls at the top, and then after. Defenses will play the pick and roll differently. Now they know how the if the defense plays it a certain way, dito ko titingin. Ito yung mali libre na to. It's a lot a lot more smoother this squad for them. Long rebound picked up by Willie Wilson. Nebra still down by five. Will be stored though out of control in that sequence and vicious bounce pass from Keith Jensen. It's a turnover. Plays actually for both sides on one end. Nakita na natin barangay hinera. Not a good pass, and that would mean Elidro yung coming back because you can feel it right now in this game. That first four minutes, nung ating second quarter, it almost was a parang zombie walk yung nangyari para dito sa parehong kapuran. Not one team really showing that. Oh, I want this quarter, and both coaches realize it. That's why they're sending back their their eight troopers. White Walker is coming. Ay, malapit na. Malapit na. Nakatapos pa lang yun. A spin there by Willie Wilson. Foul on Danny Siegel. Sarcastic smile on his face. Nice pass for L.A. Tenorio. Bonus free throw coming up here for Willie Wilson. Now, if Paracobal wants to be successful, they have to find a way to get L.A. Tenorio out of that shaded area because he keeps on getting there. That was not big again ng pasa yung mga kampanya. A number of times his teammates have not been able to make the basket. Pero nagugulo yung tipensa ng Paracobal. Seven and a half to go in the second period. And offensive foul here. I think it's against Evan Monfort. Kinatawan. Kasi kasi katawan ni Eman eh. Ay, that's his, yeah. actually, that's his advantage over other minions. Low center of gravity. Okay. And then, uh, ito yung yung ano niya. Bachoy biceps niya, oh. Pride of you. Ano ba Billy Mamaril? I know. Billy Mamaril has made immediate impact uh, in this game coming off the bench. This Billy Mamaril again. Okay. Opportunity happens sa mga players you, know, you didn't expect that he was gonna get extra minutes dahil nawala si Japet but it, it's what you do with the opportunity and right now Billy Mamaril doing a lot with the opportunity given to him it pays to be ready yes yeah, they, they say uh, the best talent 
is actually availability. When you're available to play, at least magmayro ka ng pag-asa na magpakita ng laro. Here's Tenorio. Maracayel, stock locked down to 12. And Billy Mamaril, oh, not that time, rebound, win of it. Wrong fight up at 33. Maraca go led by as many as 7 points. And here's a steal. L.A. on hold. And preemptive foul by Nate Penisi. Say what you want about Nate Penisi, but he more often than not makes the right play. Right there saving 2 points for his team. Look at the numbers of uh, Billy. Right now, it's the locals. Paradito sa Barangay Hinebra. The locals have scored the last 14 points for, the, for, for this team. So the lead is uh, back with Hinebra, 36-33. Single parry. Pulls Barako Bull within one. Well, di mo papansin, this is a isna yung ginagawa. Mike single parry. But you know, you, you almost don't notice it because it's actually within the flow of things so far para sa Barako. So it's actually a good sign. Yeah, you don't see... Oh, dahil hindi mo naman siya nakikita nagwa one-on-one dyan at uh, tinitigil yung opensa nila. In the meantime, pansin na pansin naman that uh, Mark Barakel is having a uh, splendid shooting night. Barakel now with uh, 8 points. Naman pa rin ang Inebra, 38-35. We've crossed the halfway mark of the second quarter as Watford sends it to Mick Penisi for 3. Ebra players on the court, Tenorio, Barakael, Lohorn, Mamarin, and Helterbrand. Missed there by L.A. Duty foul there from uh, J.J. Helterbrand. First personal against J.J. Second team foul against Inebra. We have a timeout. Inebra on top, 38 Danny Siegel uh, made his first free throw and about to take his second. You know, just a few feet from us, uh, Asitaulava is here. Ano ba siya nandito? Alam mo nandito ka, tanong mo Pero ano siya nandito? Pero kanina, kanina mula first game nandiyan na yan. Ah, nanonood. Of course, the Asi is uh, actually uh, in the middle of a long off-season. The off-season is in the middle. Ano yan, Asi, why are you here? Hindi si Dini. Sabi nung nasa likod, pagkakataon ko na ito, may dala akong pansign. Ano mong kaya natin kay Eric? Eric, bakit ba nandito si Asi? Ha? Tanong din natin kay Sherry. Manager ni Asi, eh, presidente ng Jason Whip Solid Pants Club Philippines yan eh. Alam ko ba't nanonood si Asi? Eh, pinapunod yung mga kasabay ko. Oo, it's not sila. T.S., Dorian, Mick, Mick. Evan Monford for three. No go. Rebound, Helter Brand. Nebra down by one here. We approach the four-minute mark of the second quarter. Here's Lohorn. Mahimik na si Lohorn ever since that first quarter has not gotten uh, he never has not gotten anything mula kay uh, D.R. Lohorn Blocking foul on Lohorn on that drive by uh, Danny Siegel and for more on Danny Siegel, let's go to Eric. It's a big game for Barako going against Ginebra. And the supporters of the Barangay, kaya naman, they have to bring extra energy. Tiwala naman si Danny na kahit gumagawa si na LA, their defense covers all other players, kaya they're not that worried. He's just really thankful for being healthy. Eating right allows him to, to do a lot during practices that transcends to actual games. Balik sa inyo, guys. I wonder what is yung eating Ako right. Ako rin yun ang iniisip ko eh. Ano kaya yung eating? Bumabalik yun doon sa rebounds. Kapatang <laughs> mali <laughs> rebound, marami silang kakainin sa almusal. Almusal. Extra malunggay. Ito seryoso ito na. If you're a PBA player, how important is it to eat right? Well, you know, you know, you, you, should, you should have 
a guy, a dietitian, as we see Mike Secretary here get getting fouled. He should have a dietitian, and he would always tell us that day before the game, 24 hours before the game, fish. fish. Oh. So, hindi kayo pizza. So, hindi kayo, ano, hindi kayo mag, like, carbo-loading. Depende, iba-iba, eh. You know, it actually, um, uh, gusto ang ano doon, ang lagi pinaalala sa amin, is that before a game, you know, 24 hours before, you should always have yung madali ma... ma-digest. Ma-digest. Okay. A witness hard-hitting MMA action in PXC 39, Mark Hugen Strigo, the beast, Jiang, uh, up against the uh, Jiang Yong Kim. For the featherweight title, September 14, 8 p.m. at the United Sports Arena, Pasig City. Buy your tickets now. Mapapanood din sa Action TV on September 15 at 9 p.m. Here's Mark Kagiwa back in the ball game. Mark goes to Parakel. They swing it to L.A. who has not scored tonight. Kick out para kay Mark. Mark fires a three. L.A. gets that rebound against Big Pinisi. a lot of guts to uh, fight for the rebound against Big. Just mentioned earlier, L.A. Tenorio has not scored, but he has done, and he does other things for his team. He's already got five assists, and you can see right here the effort on the part of L.A. It's mas maliit. Paunahan niya. Rexona power rebound brought to you by Rexona men with 50% more long-lasting protection, so you can do more. Three minutes to go in the first half. Ebra down by four points. L.A. zigzagging. Finds Barakel. He's been hot. Good look though. And Monfort fires. And that's good for a three. I remember watching him in college. It seems that he's actually a better shooter now than he was in college because he's shooting over 50% from the three-point line at this point. Here's Dior Lohorn uh, connecting under the basket. Malewan actually joined Ateneo primarily as a shooter. And then I think in the last year, he really concentrated on defense. But he forgot to shoot. Bale, champion naman siya. Isa-isa lang yung kailangan. <laughs> oh, what at a time. As L.A. Oh, erased by Singletary. And here's Benefit chased by Ellis. And Rajay will miss. Good effort in the part of Chris Ellis. Hinabul niya yung bola doon. And he was able to chase the shot of Rajay. Yeah, it, w- it wasn't as exciting as a chase down block, but just as effective. However, Barajo is still ahead by 5 points, 45-40, with under 2 minutes to go in the second period. Back in a moment. Dandruff. Of course, the lovely lady in the middle is uh, R.R. Enriquez. Actually, uh, cheering on J.J. Hilterbrand. Meantime, Chris Ellis is on the line. Kasi penalty na si yung Barako Bull and there was a loose ball foul on Ronjay Buenifer earlier. And uh, Ellis missing both. So but it's still a five-point Barako Bull lead. Could have been a four-point swing. In the, in the essence, ano yan, a four-point swing in reverse ulit. <laughs> parang ganun, parang natuloy na rin yung layup kanina ni Ronjay. Ronjay very, very aggressive in today's game. Here's Mark Kakiwa. LA. No horn. And that ball goes out. This will allow the entry of Dylan Ababu. <laughs> nice to see Dylan back as a low horn. Lalim ng team na rin itong Hinebra dahil sa mga pickup nila throughout the uh, conferences that have passed. Because they even have. Uh, uh, who else is there in the bench? Nakita natin si Rico Mayhoffer. Hindi na rin ginagamit, pero former Rookie of the Year. JC. Monfort fires again. Not that time. Rebound. Dorian. Uh, Ron Jay. 
aggressive. Like his singular purpose tonight <laughs> is to try and score 50 points. <laughs> but you, you know, you need a guy like a like a Ron J for you because if if someone's aggressive and someone is penetrating, it creates opportunities. Unless of course I agree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree on. But but right now when you look at that Barajo Bulls side, you have to say that at this point that at this point in their career, Ron J is the best guy in terms of creating a shot for himself when you go through that uh, Barajo Bull lineup yes and he's, he's he's attacking the basket with that in mind you know I don't think you acquire Ron Jay and then you just ask him to park himself outside the three-point line he can do that but he can do uh, many more things Ang galing niya kasi kumontra Chempo eh. You know, he really is a guy that uses a lot of quickness. Good swipe by Dorian. Yeah, Dorian's actually done the best job on Dior the entire night among all the big men na nilagay kay Dior. 30 seconds before the end of the first half. Here's single parry up against three defenders and he still scores. points for uh, Mike Singletary and it's now an eight point lead for Barajo Bull, their biggest lead of the ball game now Hinebra hoping to write the last sentence of the second chapter and Mark Aguila has the basketball here's LA, LA still scoreless tonight, low horn no and that's how we'll end the first half with Barajo Bull on top by eight